We have heard tale on the channel before of the terrifying Sith Hound, the creatures bred by the ancient Sith Lords to protect their tombs following their death. Creatures that would rip you apart without a moment's notice due to their strong and deep connection to the dark side of the Force. We before have talked about the great Jedi Purges, both old and new. The Jedi Purges put into action by the great and mighty Sith Lords such as Lord Sidious or Lord Treya. But what if I told you after Darth Vader and Darth Sidious were defeated on the second Death Star, there was a Jedi Purge and a creature that nearly wiped out every single Jedi in existence. A creature bred in darkness to specifically hunt and kill Jedi Knights. And a creature that Luke Skywalker feared above any, as it had killed dozens of his students following his rise to Grand Master of the Jedi Order. A creature so powerful that they nearly achieved what the Sith never could, wipe out every single Jedi in existence. To explain away this deadly creature though and this Jedi Purge, we must first explain their masters. After the Empire was officially defeated in Legends continuity with the death of Thrawn, a new threat arose to challenge Luke Skywalker. A new species entirely that Luke had never encountered before. A species that originated outside of the Star Wars galaxy, but only lived to conquer. A species known as the Yuzhong Vong. Unlike any enemy that Luke had ever faced before, or the New Republic for that matter, the Vong had no connection to the Force at all. Therefore, they were extremely difficult to kill using the Force and could not be sensed through it. Before the Vong invaded the Star Wars galaxy, they made one decision, and that was that the Jedi Knights were the most dangerous threat that lied within it, and therefore they needed to take special measures in order to eliminate them. Because of their vast technology, they created a creature so dangerous that it was specifically bred to kill a Jedi or a Force sensitive. A creature that nearly in every way counteracted a Jedi's ability to use the Force, and even their weapon of the lightsaber. This deadly creature was in the form of a space hound, and was known as a Voxen. A Voxen was a genetic clone and hybrid of two other dangerous species that belonged to the Yuzhong Vong. Unfortunately for the Vong, only one hybrid survived this process, but still, there were far more Voxen that were needed in order to eliminate the Jedi. Therefore, the Vong took this one hybrid, known as the Voxen Queen, and cloned it. Unfortunately, it was discovered that the Voxen were incapable of breeding, and therefore cloning was the only option for the Yuzhong Vong. Although they were limited in this capacity, they were far dangerous in nearly every other. The Voxen were designed to smell the Force, specifically the light side of the Force, to specifically target Jedi. Some Jedi even considered the Voxen Force sensitive, as again they could sense others and even Jedi's emotions through the Force. Powerful enough Jedi could even sense Voxen, however Voxen did have the ability to hide their presence through the Force. The Jedi would sense though if they managed to feel a Voxen through the Force was just how feral and hungry they truly were. What made them even more dangerous is the Yuzhong Vong had trained the Voxen to specifically fight Jedi with lightsaber. They weren't only bred to kill Jedi but also trained in how to do so. On all eight legs, a Voxen stood about five feet tall. Because of their eight legs, they were extremely quick. When the Voxen creatures were first released into the galaxy and attacked the Jedi Order, the Jedi cast casualties were huge, and of course this proved to be a massive concern for Jedi Grandmaster Luke Skywalker. The Voxen, Yuzhong Vong Monster, Jedi Killers. Stay away from anything that looks like an eight-legged reptile. Far away. These things spit acid and screech blast waves. Maybe they can even do worse. A Voxen was extremely durable, immune to most blaster fire and even grazing strikes from a lightsaber. Although, if placed correctly, a lightsaber strike would in fact kill a Voxen, as they were not invincible. Luckily for a Jedi though, a Voxen's lifespan was not very long, as they died just mere weeks after their birth. They were still dangerous though, even in the vacuum of space, as they were nearly immune to it if they formed a cocoon large enough to hold them, and if they went into a state of hibernation. What made them exponentially more dangerous to a Jedi than any other creature though is that even if a Jedi Master diminished their presence in the Force, a Voxen could still sense them. That means in the time of the Empire, Jedi such as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda could still potentially be hunted down by a Voxen, as no matter what, a Jedi could never fully hide their presence from the creature. Fortunately for the Jedi though, Luke Skywalker formed a special strike team that was designed to hunt down and kill the Voxen Queen. This was due to the fact that if the Voxen Queen were to be killed, they could not reproduce due to the cloning aspect needed for the Voxen species. Although the strike team resulted in massive casualties, they did 
did eventually destroy the Voxen Queen, and therefore the cloning could no longer continue. Still though, there were still many Voxen left at the Yuzhong Vong's control, as they could not kill every single one of them. Over the rest of the course of the war though, the Voxen species were diminished over time. The Voxens became so rare and valuable to the Yuzhong Vong that they would only use them in certain missions. Certain missions that of course had to do with encountering Jedi, only the most powerful of Jedi. By the end of the war with the Vong though, the entire Voxen species had been wiped out by the Jedi Order. Still though, the creature still terrified Luke Skywalker to the day of his death, as they nearly achieved again what no Sith Lord ever could. This feral species nearly wiped out the entirety of the new Jedi Order, just after it was re-established. But leave your own thoughts on the Voxen species in the comments down below, and did you know about the Voxen before this video? As always guys, I would love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments down below. May the force be with you, and have a great day.